Hello everybody, so here's my Steam Deck running Windows 11. Instead of putting it on the internal hard drive or the SD card though, I decided to put it onto this external SSD drive. Now if I get like a Velcro strip, I think it'll fit perfectly in this spot right here and it won't get in the way of the controls. So there's a few reasons I did it this way. The USB port on the Steam Deck is actually very fast, so combined with this SSD, you should get better performance running Windows off of this rather than an SD card. The other reason is I didn't want to mess with the Steam OS side of the Steam Deck. Most likely I'll be spending more of my time on the Steam OS side anyways, but it is nice to have Windows available so that I can play the occasional Xbox Game Pass games, or even have these Epic games and Battle.net games without jumping through hoops and try to install it through Steam OS. I've also set up this installation so that you can't access the Steam OS drive or the SD card that's in the Steam Deck. So basically this Windows is a completely self-contained instance running from the SSD and anytime you restart the Steam Deck, it'll just go back into uh, Steam OS like normal. So that is something to remember though, if your Windows install wants to restart for a Windows update or a driver install or something, you should probably choose shutdown so that you can get right back into Windows. Uh, if you do restart, it's going to go into Steam OS no matter what, and you can't really stop that. So there is a problem with Windows not recognizing the controls on the Steam Deck as a controller in Windows. Uh, there is a workaround for that. It's not too hard to set up. I'll probably make another video on that one. But you can also just install the Steam client under Windows and run your games through there, just like you would under Steam OS. So here you can see that the Steam OS has loaded and nothing has changed here. So in order to go back into Windows, you'll have to shut down the Steam Deck all the way. I'm trying to do it with one hand here, so it's a little difficult. Now while this tutorial is for the Steam Deck, you can actually use the same steps for most computers and run Windows off an external SSD. But that'll depend on whether it lets you access the boot menu and lets you boot from an external drive. So for the Steam Deck, you'll use the volume down button here and you have to hold that and press the power button at the same time. So once you do that, you can let go of the power button but keep the volume down button on until it restarts and then you'll enter the boot manager. So from here, you'll see a few options. The first one is the internal drive. The second one is the SD card. The third one is this external SSD. So I'm going to choose the third one. So Windows should start loading. It looks like it's loading Steam OS, but you'll see that little circle loading icon from Windows on the bottom. So I found the best way to navigate through Windows is just to use the touchscreen. Swipe gestures work, and when you tap on the screen, it basically works as a mouse button. So unfortunately, Windows 11 got rid of their tablet interface that they used to have in Windows 10 but they still have the on-screen keyboard and stuff you can use to uh, type without a physical keyboard. So let's get on with uh, what you'll need and how to set up Windows on this uh, SSD in the next section. So of course, first you'll need the SSD drive. A fast one like the Samsung T7 will work great. Second, you'll need a USB-C hub that'll let you plug in a few USB peripherals that you're gonna need. You'll need a USB mouse. I'm gonna be using this wireless one, but of course you can use a wired one if you'd like. And finally, you'll need a USB keyboard to type. So now let's go download everything we're gonna need. So we'll need Rufus. Rufus is the software that's going to put Windows onto the external USB drive. So Rufus is free, but they have a page with a lot of ads, so watch out for that. I'm just going to go with the portable version so I don't have to install it onto my computer. Now this part is an ad, so don't click on anything uh, except for the X mark on the top. And then it should just start downloading. Uh, the next part is you're going to need Windows 11. So Microsoft offers the Windows 11 ISO download. The website's here. Uh, what you want to get is the disk image. So there's only one choice here, so you can choose that, and then afterwards you can hit download. 
So the website's kind of weird that it keeps making you go through these extra steps after you hit download. So now you have to choose a language. I'm going to go with English. Um, we'll come from that. And then once you do that, it's going to load another thing here that you might miss. It's going to show another download button for some reason. So make sure you click on the 64-bit download. So I've downloaded Windows a couple of times from the Microsoft website and for some reason it always takes me to this broken link and then it tries to download uh, Windows twice. So just make sure you cancel one of them and save your bandwidth there. And then once that's done, we can head over to downloading the Steam drivers. So downloading the drivers now is optional because you can always download them from the Steam Deck after you install Windows. Originally, the Windows didn't come with the Steam Deck Wi-Fi drivers, but now it does. So the first link in Google takes me to the blog link. Um, so the blog link will take you to the support page. You can click on this link here. So this page is kind of important because it has all the drivers and the instructions on how to install them. Some of the instructions aren't really straightforward. So you might want to come back here after you set up Windows on the Steam Deck. I'm going to download all these now and probably put them on a flash drive so I don't have to download them later. And then as you can see, some of these instructions say that to run a different file than the normal executable. Uh, this one just installs the driver files, but it'll have some other files in the download. So make sure you remember these instructions or come back and check when you are going to install them. Okay, so I'm done downloading all the files and as you can see from my downloads folder, I have uh, everything including the drivers. So now we need to run Rufus and get the uh, Windows installed onto the external SSD. So as you can see here, the device section doesn't show our USB drive. I do have it plugged in. So you have to go here and click list USB hard drives. Now once you do that, it should show and you can select it through the menu. Now you can select your image, which is going to be the Windows 11 ISO. Now the only option you're probably going to change is the image option here. It's going to say uh, standard Windows. You want to change it to Windows to go. So the partition scheme and the target system is fine. Uh, you might want to change the volume label. This is just the name of the drive. It's kind of long, so I'm going to change it here to something else. Maybe I'll put Win T7. And then file system's fine. The cluster size is fine. I'll show you what's under advanced uh, format options, but these are also fine. So once you're done here, you can hit the start button. And now you have to choose which version of Windows you want to install, whether it's going to be home or pro. I'm not going to activate this Windows at all. I'm probably just going to use Windows 11 Home. But if you have a key or you plan on activating it, make sure you choose the correct version that you want here. So once you choose the correct version, you can hit OK. And now it's going to give you some important questions. The first one that is checked is prevent Windows to go from accessing internal disks. So I'm going to leave this one on because it'll prevent me from messing with the SteamOS drive and the SD card. Uh, the one on top is disable data collection. Um, this just makes the setup easier and skips the questions Windows asks you. I'm also going to set a local account and uh, set the regional options. This means that I won't have to log in using my Windows uh, ID or anything like that. Okay, and now it's going to give me a warning and let's start. So this is going to take a little bit of time, but it's going to format and then install Windows onto the SSD drive. Now just let it run through. So we're almost done here. Once it reaches 100%, you can close out Rufus and eject the hard drive. So you should hook up the mouse and the keyboard and the hard drive to the USB hub and plug it into the Steam Deck. You'll want to boot from the SSD drive. And once you do, you'll notice that everything's in the vertical format uh, while you're doing the window setup, but it'll be quick. Um, and then you can change it back to the landscape in the display settings. Uh, and then you're done. So one quick tip is once you're in the Windows environment, I've already done the landscape mode here. Uh, you want to turn on the uh, touch keyboard. So you want to go to personalization in the settings. Uh, oops. Uh, 
So you want to go to the taskbar settings and then the touch keyboard, I already turned it on, but this is a toggle and it'll show up on the bottom right. So anytime you need to type something, you can use that. And of course the uh, touch screen you can use as a mouse. And that should help you do about 99% of the things that you want to do on Windows without connecting an external mouse and keyboard. So I hope this video was helpful. I'll make a Windows on Steam Deck tips video soon. So stay tuned for that and thanks for watching.